Hello, my lovely Sagittarius's. It is your birth time, so we are doing your reading. Don't forget, this is gonna be for January and all of 2024, so it's gonna be a long one. Don't forget to hit like, share, subscribe. Comments and utterances of discontent will be met with love and humor. I'm gonna do your tarot. I'm gonna do all your stuff for January 1st, then I'm gonna do the whole entire month. So, tarot astrology, shadow work for January. Then I'm going to come back in and then I'm going to do month by month. And I'm also going to do another deck for your season. So hang in there for this whole entire thing. If you want to skip around, that's totally fine. I'm going to get some of this stuff out of the way. And if Sagittarius, if you need to get a hold of me, don't forget my phone number is right down below. And there are about a million links for my store right down below. You're going to want to check that out. It is 30, over 3,700 five-star reviews, have readings I can do for you individually. This is just a general reading. Um, the, uh, what, which one was it? The Capricorn? The Capricorn reading blew up. I got a ton, ton of uh, watches there. And if you can, if you want to help me out, if you want to help, help out the log, can I talk today? Can I talk today? I did not have my little, uh, I just started my, my Celsius. It is, it is early post Christmas, no caffeine. If you want to help a mother out, uh, please, please, please hit like the share button. You don't actually have to share it. You don't have to give it to anybody, but apparently that messes with like the algorithm and they go, Oh, this video is awesome. It's shareable. So if you could do that, that'd be awesome. That'd be great. 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 And then I can give you more stuff and don't forget to sign up because then every month you get a reading for free. Okay. Love stuff going on with you. Sagittarius. Did you, yeah, you just, yeah. Cause we're, we're kind of in, we're in Capricorn now. So we just passed your birth month. So let's see, love situation. It was almost like you had to work a lot on a love situation, either a solid relationship or a new relationship came in. And there was a lot, a lot, a lot of work. This would have been in the fall time period. Now, right now, it seems like things are kind of tenuous. They're kind of like, I don't know if you know what's going on with your love situation. It's, it's, it's in limbo. Uh, uh, nice way I can put it. It's in limbo. It's in limbo. It's kind of holding you, you haven't decided on things yet. You're kind of deciding you're being very sad about this. You're taking your time. You're watching, you're waiting. You're not going to do anything like too rash, but I do feel like there is trouble in paradise. If you are a single Sagittarius, I would not, if you're dating somebody or you kind of went on a couple dates, it's not the one. This is like a, a, a holding pattern time period with love. Okay. And it also says, don't get into any fights. Don't let somebody bring you into a fight. Don't let somebody like bait you. Does that make sense? Um, and if you hear me pausing, I just, uh, have you had these yet? I am I'm not sponsored at all. I wish I could be. Have you had these yet? Holy crap. Are they good? But they make me burp. Ooh, ooh. So if you hear me pause, I'm just trying not to burp in the microphone. I'm trying to get my, my natural caffeine on now going into, this is definitely going into February, going into spring, February, March. You're not going to want to caretake. So if this is a situation where you're having to do all the work and Sag, you're really good at that. You're really, really good at being like the life of the party, being, um, the travel nut and also kind of, um, taking the temperature of the room and making sure everybody's settled, making sure everybody's got what they need. You know, if you, if you are, um, work in food service or, 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 um, hospitality, man, you are like, you're in your, your zone. Cause you're like, you got everything. Can I get you anything? Can I make, you know, and then you kind of like check in and then go off and do your thing. Um, you're going to want to roll that back for spring. Definitely coming up. If this relationship has become too much of a caretaking relationship, which is what it kind of looks like here, you're going to want to step back. If it's become too much of a caretaking relationship and you're burned out, just get out. Uh, if you're just starting a relationship and it's feeling a little caretaking, don't go any further. And if you're single, just have fun. Just have fun. We're going to hop into your Astro Dice. Now, these are available in my store. These are awesome. I love these so much. Go down. There's links down below for like spell work. Um, don't forget to sign up on the social media because I have different sales every week. Like a different sales cycle starts every week. Um, I usually announce it on Sunday. We're having a, a month of, of uh, Sunday holidays of like Christmas Eve, New Year's Eve, all that stuff. So sometimes it's announced Monday or Tuesday, but typically every Sunday I have an announcement for what the sales are going to be for that week. Rotating products. These are on my website on Etsy. Go check that out. Links down below. Also, my phone number is down below. If you want to get directly a hold of me and I can like text you some stuff and you can, you know, um, uh, if you're like, I don't know what to buy, or I got this situation going on or whatever, totally fine. Just text me, just do me a favor and give me like your name. Just say, hi, I'm so-and-so. So I kind of know who I'm talking to. That's all. 
but these have the planets, they have the houses, the zodiac, and they have the zodiac symbols. So I, they come in a carrying bag with psychic vision oil, and they come with this cheat sheet, and it's 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 a really beautiful kit. I'm gonna use the cheat sheet because if you know, you know. If you've been here before, you know Mama D never wears her bifocals because I just I can't. I can't, I just can't. I can't. Okay. So second house. Second house in Leo with some Pluto energy. Yeah, Sag, you got some, you're thinking things behind the scenes. I think you're making plans and you're not telling anybody, which I love that. I love that for you. That's good. Okay, so second house is all about your values and your self-worth. There's also some financial stuff in the second house. So be careful if you're giving somebody a lot of money. I don't love that. We don't love that. We want you to keep your money. We don't want you to support any anybody. If anybody needs money, that's fine. You know, if they've been holding you up for 20 years and they've been being good to you, okay, that's cool. Um, but if somebody's coming in your life and they are not that settled in your life and they're like, can I have 500 bags? And the next month they're like, I'm not your man. no, you're not a bank. You're not doing that. You got to take care of you. So be careful about that financial aspect also. But this doesn't just have to be a money transaction. This can be an emotional transaction. If they are draining you, Sagittarius, I mean, if you're working in the hospitality field and you get money for taking care of people, you are getting compensated. That's great. But if you have somebody in your life who is draining you for fucking free, no, 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 no. That's what I'm seeing here. And that's what I worry about. And we also have Leo here. Leo is all about selfhood. You're really going to have to stand up for yourself. You're really going to have to do for you, not anybody else. Do for you right now, Sag, okay? And this this Pluto is about transformation. It's about... Um, uh, rebirth, but there's also some, uh, you know, something like, you know, something is up. Um, it's very much a, 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 a planet of secrets. It's very much a pattern, a planet of like, you know, but you're not letting anybody else know. So if, if it's time for you to move on, Sag, this is your green light to go ahead and do that. Or at the very least, at the very, very least, put your foot down and be like, you know, we're not doing that anymore. Like I'm not letting you take advantage of me anymore. We're, we're going to do it my way or the highway. Now, these are your shadow cards. Now, again, this is all for January. I'm going to hop into the year long in a second. This is your shadow self, your shadow work. This is going to tell you what you need to work on in January that's going to help you out. Shadow is not bad. Shadow does not mean dark. It does not mean like evil. It's nothing like that. Shadow is just the other side of your personality, okay? So once we learn how to harness our shadow self, we literally have double the power. So let's let's see what the cards have to say. What do you need to work on for your shadow self, Sag? Celine, bring light into somebody's dark sky. I'm going to tell you something. I think this is more, and I love Celine, uh, absolutely. If you know, you know, uh, Celine, uh, the moon in tarot and in astrology and all that is linked to, um, you know, it's depression or like mental stuff, right? Well, Selene, the goddess of the moon, the mineral selenite is named after her. And guess what? Or selenium, selenium, I'm sorry. Selenium is named after her. And guess what we all need for our mental health? We need selenium. Ah, a lot of times if you have anxiety or depression, it's because you are lacking in selenium. So if you're having any brain fog issues, go get some selenium. It's cheap as hell. Go to Walmart, get some, go, go online. I love bulk supplements.com. This is like such a not sponsored video. I'm like, drink Celsius, go to bulk supplements.com. These are just my favorites. I love bulk supplements because when I take a vitamin, I don't know about you, this is totally, it has nothing to do with your astrology, but if you ever get the burps or you ever get the icky ups or you ever get the, uh, like, uh, indigestion, uh, a lot of 99% of supplements have stuff in it, have like, um, silica powder and have like sawdust and all sorts of like crap to like fill up that capsule and make it look full. Bulk supplements has nothing in it. I, I get such bad indigestion when I take like a vitamin C tab, bulk supplements is just powdered chemical. That's it. There's nothing else. There's no crap in it whatsoever. So just a little word to the wise. So selenium, back to you, back to you, Sagittarius. Thanks for my little commercial break. Not sponsored is definitely take care of your mental health. Definitely, definitely, definitely get your selenium. Don't let people run all over you. Take care of you. That's the most important thing. Okay. So now let's go month by month. I'm going to bang this out. I, they've been getting to like 20 minutes, these videos. I, I'm going to try and do this a little bit quicker for you so you can get your, you know, get your shit and move on for the, for the, for the year. February. What do you need to know? February. Yeah. Don't, don't go drinking. Don't go smoking. Don't distract yourself with a bunch of vices. See what's actually going on. See the world for what it actually is. March. If you have this person in your life or 
uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't feed into anything. Again, there's this baiting kind of thing, this baiting, uh, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you upset. I'm going to whatever. Please do not fall for it. Don't fall for it. Okay. So no, none of that. And also if you want to go into your cave and you don't want to talk to anybody and you just want to plot and plan, March is the month to do it. April. If you have a trip, go for it. This is an eight card, which is also about money. So maybe you get your tax return and you got a shit ton of money. Go have fun. Go have fun. You probably have not traveled in a while. And you're a Sagittarius, which means you never travel enough. Your bag is always packed. You're always ready for a trip. Get your ass out in April. Go do some fun stuff. May, love comes in. Now, this looks like new love. I don't think this is the love situation you're dealing with. Or, or let's be positive. Let's be optimistic. Let's say the love situation you're dealing with gets their shit together and comes back. That would be ideal. We love that. We love, we love a happy ending here. June. Again, love situation issues, partnership issues. You want to definitely be careful with what you're dealing with here. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be too, hmm, I wouldn't be too apt to play into anybody else's rules. Okay, make sure you're running your own game. July, same thing. Be cautious. Be cautious. It's almost like if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. It's one of those. So be careful in that time period. August. August, you're going to be patiently waiting for something. You're going to be um, kind of uh, watching, looking, seeing what's going on. Okay. Again, that, that summer time period, you're just going to want to be like observing more than taking action. Okay. September money comes in and it's such a good month for it. I mean, if you got kids going back to school, if you're going back to school, yeah, money comes in. Also, if you've been looking to start a business or do something entrepreneurial, that would be the month to do it. October, October, again, stay away from other people. I think other people, I, I, I love Sagittarius as I always have. Um, they're usually the funniest people. Uh, but uh, you're, you can be jovial and still be, um, genuine. It, it seems like sometimes there's people around you that are not genuine or they want to kind of get something out of you. So be careful about that in October, November money comes in maybe from this business. You started in September money is bestowed upon you. Could be a bonus, could be a check, could be something, could be alimony, who knows, but money comes in. That's a very good month. And December money goes out, ah, but that's your birth month. Hopefully you're traveling. Hopefully you're having fun. You're doing all sorts of crazy stuff. You're buying yourself beautiful things. That's okay. Because the money came in in November, you spend it in December. That is a Sag. Holy crap, is that a Sag? Okay, let's see. Let's see. Now we're going to do your seasons. I'm going to do, this is for 2024. So if you get confused, like, which December is she talking about? This is all 2024. I'm going to do this seasonally, just kind of like the theme, the theme uh, for the season. The team with the theme, as Kath and Kim would say. So I got cars flying everywhere over here. Holy crap. Now everybody is spring. I, okay, I know. I know winter starts December 21st, but does it really? I think it starts December 1st. So whatever you call, and in different parts of the world, you're going to feel different, uh, you know, on different dates. I'm not doing this by date. This is going to be spring, summer, winter, fall. However, however the heck you want to put that. Oh no, my puppies are barking. My puppies are barking. I hope they don't bark too much. Oh, I hope they don't bark too much. I don't want to ruin this video. So however you do the winter, spring, summer, fall, that's that's how your definition of it. Okay, so let's get through this real quick for my dogs bark like crazy the whole entire time. Oh my God, one starts barking, they all start barking. We are going to do winter first because you are kind of a winter baby. Okay, so we're going to do winter of 2024. So that'd be January, February, March, right? Somewhere there. Queen of Swords. Just to, if you can hear the dog barking, just ignore it, please. Because I'm right at the end of the video. I don't want to stop. I'm out of SD card. I love you. Just go with me here. Okay, so Queen of Swords, this is definitely going to be your time to, like I said, move forward. You know, don't let people fuck with you. Be you. Put your foot down. Totally do that. Spring of 2024. Yeah, there's that love. That love stuff comes in. Prince of Cups, money opulence. You get to spend, you get to go out, you get to do stuff, you get love, you get, you get items, you get clothing. This is going to be a very opulent time. And this is also, um, like a young time. A prince card is a very, it's, it's a very optimistic card. Okay. So spring, really enjoy that. Really enjoy all that stuff coming in in spring, love, money, opulence, travel, all that good shit. Summer. Yeah. Summer oppression. And I think we had talked about that when we did the month by month cards that, that June, July, August time period was for you to like watch and wait. These cards, these are the Aleister Crowley 12th deck. Um, 
So they're a little heavier. They're a little like more, you know, a little, if you know, if you know, you know, if you know about Alistair Crowley, uh, there's a little, a little heavier, a little more, a little more demonic. So the words he picked or him and a woman actually made the deck. The words they picked are a little, a little much smidge, a smidge much. Um, but in, in saying that there is, um, it is a month where you're, you know, it's the Ten of Swords, so it, or the Ten of Wands, I'm sorry. So you're definitely going to watch your back. You're definitely, we had talked about more about you observing, observing, observing instead of, you know, um, making actions. So that's more what this looks like. And this card is ruled by Saturn, if you see that symbol up there. That's also a card of getting your shit together, of really um, building a framework, of really uh, working through things instead of like making actions. Okay. So that's going to be your summer. And then again, and we, you know, this is backed up with the other, uh, the month by month cards, the Prince of Discs, again, spending, having fun, doing some money, coming in and out, doing stuff, work, good stuff. I mean, so basically that summertime period, you're going to watch a little bit, not much, just watch a little bit and you know, you're good to go. So there you go. Uh, I almost said Capricorn. There you go, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for watching this. If you're watching this, happy recent belated birthday. And don't forget to sign up and uh, sign up on my social media. It's just Google Mama Delia or down below. There's some links. I have different specials going on all the time. I have spell work. I have on my altar. I have um, products. I have love doing readings for people. I've gotten so many readings from people that contact me off YouTube to please let you be one of them. And if you go on my Facebook, different pop-up sales all the time. Talk to you soon.